coming up, how to use this free maintenance log Notion template. Hi, I'm Andy, the Notion real estate guy. You can download this template straight away, just click on the link in the description below. But otherwise, let me show you how it works. So here on the main page, we've got various buttons at the top which allow us to do a few things. Now we've got maintenance items, which are one-offs that you need to get sorted in the short term. We've got renovation items where you want to do some bigger work to one of your properties to go and make some improvements. We've got emergency issues, which are things that are here and now and need to be dealt with really, really quickly. And then lastly, we've got upkeep items where these are things that you may need to do on a regular basis, like change some filters in your air conditioning or maybe get a gas safety check done on your boiler. So those are the various buttons and I'll show you how we go and use those in a second. And then at the top, we've got any emergency issues. So an example one here is we've got a the, the lounge is flooded downstairs and you can straight away see which property uh, is it for, uh, what needs to happen. So we need a contract uh, here and also when were we notified, which was the 1st of October. So if we jump into this one, we can then go and add any additional information. So who is the contractor? You can add who that is. Uh, you can change what type it is. So is it maintenance or upkeep, etc. Um, and then we can also go and add any notes and you can do this to any page. So for example, we could just go and put in here an at and then just say today. So that goes and records the date. And we could then just go and add uh, spoken uh, to plumber and available this afternoon for example. So you can add some other information. Um, we can put in some photos. So using Notion's um, files feature. So if I press forward slash and then file, you can then go and add in any pictures if that was a, a, a sensible thing to do. And also any documentation. Now for an emergency item, that's not as relevant, but as I'll show you in a second, um, that would be more suitable for other types of um, maintenance log items. Here we can see a little um, Kanban board of how each of our various issues are progressing. So for example, here we could say that at Barry, Barry Road, the electrics keep tripping. You could then go and move that over to say, okay, you now know what's going on. We now need to find a contractor. We can then go and assign a contractor. Uh, is the work now being uh, done? So is it in progress? And then is the work complete? So I'm just gonna undo that one. And you can update each of these from this view. So for example, if we wanted to go and set a more medium priority for the gardening, you can click on here. Uh, we can also go and change, for example, the date. So when's it actually gonna happen? So for example, replacing the kitchen, perhaps that that was going to happen by the 1st of August. We could then go and change that and say, well, actually it's been delayed and now it's gonna complete by the end of October. Underneath, we can also go and see a diary view. So here we've got a week view of what's going on. So the gardening needed to happen by the 7th and we are still looking for a contractor. So that's uh, evidence that's delayed. So perhaps we can go and move that until Friday and that helps us to prioritize it. Uh, we can also see a month view here as well. So we can see one of our uh, regular items. So one of our uh, upkeep items, so to replace the filters uh, and that needs to be done in the next week. Um, and we've already got a contractor assigned, which is Simon, so that's all good. Um, the gardening that we've just looked at and also replacing the kitchen, which is ongoing. So that's a basic summary. Um, these buttons at the top, so let me just show you, let's say we had an emergency issue come on, just go and click on the button, straight away it says that a contractor is required, we can see that it's maintenance, it's an emergency. Um, the date notified was today, so that's also inputted uh, automatically, and you can then go and put, well, when's the due date, so ideally sort of maybe the next 24 hours. Um, we can also go and quickly track costs, so if not for an emergency, but for something else, you get an estimate come through, we could say that perhaps this is gonna cost two hundred dollars uh, and then we can go and see actually that the real amount was maybe 250 so you can track your costs for all of these little pieces of work um, and finally when something's complete you can either go and update it within the status here so complete or a lot easier is just going click the button you can see that it's removed the priority it's moved it to complete and it's now out of the list so that's the free maintenance log template for Notion. Again, if you wanna download it, just go and click on the link in the description below and let me know in the comments how you get on.